Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Baba tunakushukuru tunasema asante. Father we thank you. Tunajikabidhi mikononi mwako. We commit ourselves unto your hands. Tunavokaa mezani kwako kula na kunywa. As we sit at your table to eat and drink. Pokea uweza na mamlaka ndani ya neno lako. To receive power and might in your word. Watembelee watu wako. Visit your people. Lord. Waponye. Heal them. Wafunulie wewe ni nani? I reveal unto them who you are to Wasilie them. Tena. So that they may not cry Wakitua anymore. Knowing that you are alive. Kwa damu yako yesu. We cover by your blood O oh Jesus. Na lote. And the whole congregation. Na za, We shetani. come against the devices of the enemy. Roa kwa tawali. May your spirit rule. Atende kazi pamoja nasi. May he operate with us. Katika jina la yesu. In the name of Jesus. Ote tuseme, Amen. May we all say Amen. Tunawasalimu katika jina la Yesu. We greet you in the name of Jesus. Wengine ni mara yao ya kwanza kuingia mahali hapa. Uh, some of you it is your first time to enter into this place. Wengine ni kwa muda mrefu hawakusanyika pamoja nasi. And some of you maybe for a long time you have not been together with us. Ujisikie furaha na amani ndani ya nyumba ya Bwana. Just feel great joy and peace in the house of the Lord. Ukae mezani kwa Bwana. Sit at the table of the Lord. Na ukule kadri ya uweza wako. And eat according to your ability. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Kisema Bwana asifiwe, sema amen. If I say praise the Lord, you say amen. Mokoka. Are you afraid of that? Kisema Bwana asifiwe, sema asifiwe sana au sema amen. If I say praise the Lord, you say let him be praised or say amen. Au wewe ni mpinga Kristo nini? Oh, are you an antichrist? Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Unajua wa Antichrist hawawezi kusema Bwana asifiwe. The Antichrist people can never say praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe ni kitu kikubwa sana. Because that is a big thing. Unatakiwa kuisema ameni na tabasamu usoni. You are supposed to say amen with a smile on your face. Mbingu ione, dunia ione na mapepo ione. The heavens may see, the earth may see and the demons may witness. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Hiyo ni nzuri zaidi. That is a better one. Wiki iliyopita Jumapili iliyopita. Uh, last Sunday tulijifunza neno moja. We had learned about one word. Remember. Kumbuka. Kumbuka. Remember. Kumbuka Mungu muumba wako. Remember God your creator. Amen. Amen. Kumbuka mambo aliyokutendea. Remember the things that he has done for you. Kumbuka alikokutoa mavumbini akakuketisha na wakuu. Remember how he took you from dust and he made you to sit with the kings. Kumbuka alivyokutendea mema wakati maadui walikuwa wamekuvamia. Remember on how he did good when the enemies came against you. Kumbuka ulivyomlilia akakusikia. Remember when you cried he heard your cry. Ni vizuri kukumbuka. It is good to remember. Biblia inasema. The Bible says. Mungu wako atakavyokubariki. When my God blesses you. Utakavyo kula na kushiba. Once you've eaten and you're full. Kumbuka alikokutoa. Remember where he took you from. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kumbuka. Remember. Kumbuka. Remember. Kumbuka Mungu wako. Remember your God. Naamini umekumbuka mambo mengi. I, I believe you have remembered a lot of things. Wala usisahau fadhili zake. And do not forget about his mercies. Nani alibarikiwa Jumapili iliyopita? Who was blessed last Sunday? Kumbuka alivyomuokoa mume wako. Remember on how he saved your heart. Kumbuka alivyokupa mke and your husband and remember how he gave you a wife. Kumbuka alivyokupa mume and remember how he gave you a husband. Kumbuka alivyokupa kazi nzuri. Remember on how he gave you a good job. Kumbuka alivyokupa promotion. Remember on how he promoted you. Kumbuka alivyokupa mtoto. Remember on how he gave you a child. Kumbuka. Remember. Kumbuka. Remember. Geukea jirani yako mwambie kumbuka. Turn to your neighbor and tell neighbor remember. Siku ya leo at today Tunaendelea na ujumbe huu. We continue with this message. Kuna jambo la kukumbuka siku ya leo. There is something that we ought to remember today. Jumapili iliyopita, last Sunday, tulikumbuka Mungu muumba wako. We remembered about God our creator. Tulisema na utakavyo kumbuka, and we say that once we do so, umsifu na umwabudu. Uh, worship him and praise him. Na umcheze. And dance for him. Maana alikutendea mema. Because he did good to you. Siku ya leo, today, 
tunaenda kukumbuka we are going to remember ujumbe wa leo today's message ujumbe mwenye nguvu it is a powerful message mwenye uweza message full of mind na mamlaka ya bwana and has the authority of the lord unakuhakikishia and i want to assure you utakapo amini once you believe in it utatoka hapa umebadilika you will live here changed na maisha yako yatabadilika and your life will change hautatembea unavotembea tena you will not walk the way you walk anymore Biblia inasema The Bible says Kumbuka remember Yesu Kristo Jesus Christ Aliyefufuliwa miongoni mwa wafu who was resurrected among the dead Mzaliwa wa Daudi the, the, the one who was born in the lineage of David Hiyo ndio injili yangu That is my gospel Fungua Biblia kwenye Timotheo wa pili Open your Bible from the book of 2 Timothy Sura ya pili chapter 2 Mstari wa 8 and verse 8 Timotheo wa pili 2 Timothy Sura ya pili chapter 2 Mstari wa 8 and verse 8 Kama umesoma ume kwenye Biblia yako tia mstari unaruhusiwa And if you're reading your Bible you can underline it is allowed Mkumbuke Yesu Kristo aliyefufuka katika wafu na uzao wa Daudi kama inenavyo injili yangu Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. Kumbuka. Remember. Mkumbuke Yesu Kristo. Remember Jesus Christ. Aliyefufuliwa. Who was resurrected. Miongoni mwa wafu. Among the dead. Mzaliwa wa Daudi. The seed of David. Hiyo ndio injili yangu. That is my gospel. Geukea jirani yako. Turn to your neighbor. Muhubirie neno hilo fupi. And preach this short word to him Mwambie or her. Mkumbuke Yesu Kristo. Tell your neighbor remember Jesus Christ. Aliyefufuka. Who was resurrected? Mzaliwa wa Daud. The seed of David. Jumapili iliyopita, last Sunday, tuliambiwa mkumbuke Mungu muumba wako. We were told that thou shall remember God that, that God your your creator. Na leo tunaambiwa mkumbuke Yesu Kristo. And today we are told that remember Jesus Christ. Aliyefufuka. Who resurrected? Mzaliwa wa Daud. The seed of David. Shangilia neno hilo. Shout unto this word. Souviens-toi de Jésus-Christ ressuscité. Fils de David. Warundi wanasema wameuibuka Yesu Kristo azute. Waswahili wanasema mkumbuke Yesu Kristo aliyefufuliwa uzao wa Daudi. Haleluya. <laughs> Amen. Wameuibuka Kristo. Kumbuke Yesu Kristo. Remember Jesus Christ. Mkumbuke Yesu Kristo. Remember Jesus Christ. Aliyefufuka. Who was raised? Mzaliwa wa The seed of Daud. David. Inakukumbusha nini? What does it remind you? Inakukumbusha nini? What does it remind you? Kuna kumbukumbu tunazozikumbuka. There are some memories that we try to remember. Katika mafundisho haya kuna kumbukumbu za kurudi. In these teachings there are memories that we have to remember. Mzaliwa wa Daudi. The seed of David. Inakukumbusha nini? What does it remind you? Inakukumbusha nani? Who does it remind you of? Lea It reminds you of Leah. 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 Aliyekuwa anatia macho kwa mume wake. Who was focusing on her husband? Mtoto wa kwanza. The first child. Mtoto wa pili. The second son. Mtoto wa tatu. The third son. Alichokuwa anakitafuta. That which she was looking for. Hakukipata. She did not get it. Mtoto wa ine. And the fourth son. Alivojifungua akasema sasa. When she gave birth and she said now. Nitamsifu Mungu wangu. I shall worship my Lord. Nitamtukuza Mungu wangu. I shall glorify my Lord. Huu ni muda. This is the time. Wa kutoa macho yako kwa kile ambacho ulikuwa unakikazia macho sana. To remove your eyes on which that you were focusing on a lot. Na kuelekeza macho yako kwa Mungu. And to transfer your eyes unto God. Na kuelekeza macho yako kwa Yesu Kristo. And to focus your eyes unto Jesus Christ. Na kuanza kumsifu. And to start to praise him. Hata kama kile unachokitafuta hujakipata, uanze umsifu Yesu. Even if that which you're looking for you've not found it, start to praise Jesus. Asema sasa nitamtukuza Mungu wangu. And said now I shall glorify my Lord. Na kuanza kumsifu Mungu. And she started to praise God. Na kamuita huyo mtoto 
hizo Judah. And she called the son Judah. Maana yake praise. Which means praise. Tulisema kisi ule Yuda alipata baraka za kipekee. And we said on how Judah had unique blessings. Kwa sababu baraka zake zilitoka juu. Because his blessing came from above. Zilitoka kwa wazazi zikatoka na juu. They came from the parents likewise they also came from above. Ndio Mungu akasema kupitia baba Yakobo. And that's when God said through his father Jacob. Kwamba fimbo ya utawala haitatoka mikononi mwako. The scepter of rulership shall never depart from your hand. Utakavyojua kumtukuza Mungu. Once you know how to glorify utawala God. Utawala utakuwa mikononi mwako. The rulership shall be in your hand. Mamlaka itakuwa mikononi mwako. Authority shall be in your hand. Ufalme utakuwa mikononi Kingdom will be in your hand. Hallelujah. 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 Kumsifu Mungu. Praising God. Ni jambo la ajabu. It is something that is so wonderful. Ni siri kubwa sana. It is a great secret. Ndio maana Satan amebadilisha ulimwengu huu. That's why the devil is turning around this world. Nakutia ma night club. And to put the night clubs. Nakutia michezo ya ya aibu. And to put the shameful games. Na nyimbo za kishetani. And the devilish songs. Ili wamtukuze shetani. So that they may worship devil. Azidi kutawala ndani ya ulimwengu. That he may continue to rule in the Lakini world. Lakini muda umefika. But the time has come. Muda ni huu. And yeah, this is a time. Kanisa. Where by the church. Tunatakiwa kumtukuza Mungu. We are supposed to worship Tuna God. Tunatakiwa kumchezea Mungu. We are supposed to dance for Tuna the Lord. Tunatakiwa kumuinua Mungu. We are supposed to exalt Mchezee God. Mchezee Mungu bila aibu. Dance for the Lord without shame. And the authority of the Lord shall move with you. And the power of God shall move with you. And the kingdom of the Lord shall move with you. That's why Jesus. He came in the lineage of Judah. And that's why in the in the life of King David. Where the lineage of curses. There was no the lineage of curses but the lineage of dancing for the Lord. He was dancing for God. He was glorifying God. And that's when the spirit of God said. It shall never depart from the kingdom. Your kingdom shall remain forever. Kumsifu Mungu. Praising God. Kumtukuza Mungu. Worshiping God. Daudi alipata ufunguo. David got the keys. Ndio maana Biblia inasema. That's why the Bible says. Katika kitabu cha ufunuo. In the book of Revelation. Nitakupa ufunguo wa Daudi. I shall give you the keys of David. Ufunguo unayefungua hapana afungaye. The key that opens and nobody can close. Ufunguo unayefunga hapana afungaye. The key that closes and nobody can open. Ufunguo wa Daudi. That is the key of David. Ni ufunguo wa praise. It is the key of praise. Praise and praise and praise. And praise. Milango ya shaba inafunguka. When you do it it opens. Milango ya utajiri inafunguka. And the doors of riches would open. Milango ya maadui inafunguka. The doors of the enemies will get open. Hakuna mtu atasimama mbele ya mtu anayejua kumsifu Mungu. Nobody can stand against the person who knows how to praise God. Hata katika hali ngumu. Even in a difficult situation. Nitamsifu Mungu. I shall praise God. Maana hakuna kitakacho nitenganisha na upendo wa Kristo. Because there's nothing that can separate me from the love of Christ. Be it anger. I will praise God. Be it death. I will praise God. Be it strange things that the devil can bring forth. I will still praise God. Because he's my creator. I will glorify him. And I shall get hold of the enemy's name. In the name of Jesus, receive it. Receive it in Jesus' name. When you're in trouble, do not cry. When you're in trouble, glorify God. When you're waiting upon the Lord, glorify God. When you're waiting for the promise of God, glorify God. Even if you're sleeping without food, Make it as if you're fasting and glorifying God. And you shall bind the principalities of the air who have tried to bind you in the prison. And everything shall be broken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's why Jesus. He wouldn't have come from any other seat. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Shout unto Jesus Christ. Ndio maana Biblia inasema That's why the Bible says Mkumbuke Yesu Remember Jesus Aliyefufuka Who was resurrected Mzaliwa wa Daudi The seed of David Hiyo ndio injili 
That is the gospel. There is no any other gospel. There is no any other gospel. Remember Jesus. During the time of trouble. During the time of sickness. During the hard time. There's nothing to do. You're not supposed to stop to cry and ask yourself why. Why, why, why? The Bible says. Remember Jesus who was raised among the dead. The Bible is telling me the same power that resurrected Jesus Christ. The same power that resurrected him among the dead. It is within me. It is within you. It is within you. It is inside of 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 you. Una energy apatagani. You have energy. Kama zile ngufu zile mfufu wa Yesu. If that power is around to Jesus. Ziko ndani yako. Lives in you. Unaweza kusema kwa uhakika. Then you can say with confidence. I'm powerful in Jesus name. Nina nguvu katika jina la Yesu. Kumbuka hilo. Remember that. Kumbuka hilo. Remember that. Itakutoa kwenye shida. It will take you out of trouble. Leo ni siku ya kumkumbuka Yesu. Today is the day to remember Jesus. Unajua you know, once you remember those, then you cannot give up easily. Once you start to remember the things that are useless, then you start to talk to somebody. I say, you, you remember how that, how that sister did for me? Do you remember on how I was humiliated by that boss? You remember how my mother-in-law did to me? So what? So what? Mtu akianza kukumbusha vitu ambavyo havikuongezee kitu chochote kwenye maisha. If somebody starts to remind you about things that do not add any value in your life. Unakumbuka alivyokuwa anakuongelea I say. You remember on how he was backbiting against you. Unakumbuka alivyokusingizia I say. You remember on how they accused you. Mwambie ili iweje. Tell him so what? There is only one thing to be remembered and that is Jesus Christ. Umambi. Tell him. Unakumbuka yes. You remember Jesus. Alivo kufa msalaban. When he died on the cross. Alivo gongomea zambi zangu msalaban. When he nailed my sin over the cross. Lana zote. All the curses. Na mashtaka yote. And all the accusations. Yaliyo kwa yana nistaki. That they were against me. Alivo gongomea msalaban. He nailed them on the cross. There are people who are still living on the old age. You remember on how you fell in sin. You remember that sister. That sister's work is just to, to go back, to go back in sin. Tell him. Remember on how he nailed my Zambi sins on the cross. Zote. All my sins. Na laana zangu zote. And all my curses. Let no one remind you of the things that are meaningless. Tell him do not trouble me. There is only one thing to be remembered and that's Jesus Christ. Who was raised among the dead. The seed of David. Praise God. Fill it in the memories of your mind. Do it as if you're forgetting. Remember Luke 22. Remember Luke 22. When Jesus uh, took bread. When he gave thanks. And he break the bread. And then he distributed to them. And what did he say? He say this you do. In remembrance of me. Do this kwa ukumbusho wangu. In my remembrance. Ukiona unataka anza kusahau wema wa Mungu. Once you feel that you are about to forget the goodness of the Lord. Kumbuka alivyojitoa kama mkate juu ya maisha. Remember on how he gave himself like bread over your life. Ukienda kusikia kichomi kinakupiga sijuwe mahali fulani. If you feel some sort of pain somewhere in your body. Kumbuka alivyopigwa kwa ajili yako. Remember on how he suffered for you. Once you start to see in your store the food is now going down and low and low. And you don't have money in your hand. Remember on how he multiplied the bread. And he fed 5000 people. Those are the things to be remembered. 
Usianze kusema hey itakuweje. Don't start to say now how is it going to be? Leo kuna crisis ya ulimwengu mzima. There is a global crisis now. Crisis hapana crisis tunamkumbuka Kristo. Is there a crisis or no crisis we will still remember Jesus. Wanasema kumbuka watu wanapopunguzwa kazini. Say remember on how people are being laid off from the jobs. How are we going to survive? Wewe mwambie kumbuka Yesu Kristo alivyofufuliwa. Tell him remember on how Jesus Christ was raised from kumbuka the dead. Kumbuka Yesu alivolisha watu 1500. Remember on how he fed 5000. Kumbuka. Remember. Kuna vitu vya kukumbuka. There are things to be remembered. Kuna vitu vya kusahau. There are things to be forgotten. Shangilie Bwana. Shout unto the Lord. Hallelujah. unga utakavyokumbuka Yesu alivyozidisha mikate. Once you remember about the flower that is less in your home and you Wao remember how you multiplied the bread. Sijali ni kilo moja sijui ni kilo tano. I don't care how many kilos of flour you have in your house. Hiyo mchele uliobaki kilo moja. The rice that you have maybe it's one kilo in your home. Unapokumbuka Yesu alivolisha watu wa 1500. Once you remember on how Jesus fed 5000 kisha unaanza kumchezea Mungu and then you start to dance for the Lord nakwambia ule unga utaongezeka i'm telling you the flower shall be increased hiyo mchele the rice shall be increased hizo samaki zitaongezeka the fish shall be multiplied hallelujah hao wateja wako wataongezeka and your customers shall increase wakati dunia mzima inatembea kwenye crisis wewe utabarikiwa when the whole world is in crisis you shall be blessed j isaka Now how about Isaac? Hajabarikiwa wakati palikuwa ni ukame mtupu watu wote wanalia njaa. Ndipo Mungu alimwambia usiondoke mahali hapa. Nitakupatia kuzalisha mara mia. Wasn't he blessed during the time of famine and that's when God told him do not leave Egypt because I'm going to multiply you a hundredfold? Kumbuka ule mwanamke mjane alikuwa hana kazi, hana mume, hana lolote. Remember that widow woman who did not have job, did not have a husband, didn't have nothing. Mungu alivozidisha ale mafuta kupitia mnabii wa Mungu. When God multiply the oil through the uh, prophet of the Lord. Ule unga wa mjane ulivyo ulivyoendelea ukaendelea wakati wa njaa miaka 3 na zaidi. And that flower continued continued during the time of famine for over 3 years and more. Mungu ni Mungu wa miujiza. Praise God. God is a God of miracles. Jina la Yesu Kristo ni jina la ajabu sana. The name of Jesus Christ is such a wonderful name. Hiyo jina la kuchezea. It is not a name that we can Wala sio jina with. la kusahau. It is not a name to be forgotten. Ni jina la kukumbuka usiku na mchana. It is a name to be remembered day and night kumbuka Yesu Kristo remember Jesus Christ alivofufuliwa when he was raised miongoni mwa wafu among the dead mzaliwa wa Daudi the seed of David utakana maisha mazuri and you shall live such a happy life ukiamini if you believe utaona yakitokea ndani ya maisha you shall see these things happening in your life geukea jirani mwambie kumbuka turn to your neighbor and tell neighbor remember matendo makuu ya Yesu Kristo the great deeds of Jesus Christ mahali kote alitembea alitenda mema everywhere he walked he did good alifungua watu he set people free alifungua vipofu he, he opened the eyes Viwete. of the blind He caused the cripple to walk. Viziwi. The the, the dam where Alizidisha mikate. Alizidisha mikate. He multiplied bread. Alisamehe dhambi za watu. He forgave the sins of people. Yes. Jesus. Kumbuka alivyokuokoa. Remember on how he saved you. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Nilikuwa nikisikiliza mafundisho ya mtumishi wa Mungu. I was listening to uh, the teachings of a servant of God. Anaitwa Noel Jones. His name is Noel Jones. Kwa anasema wa Kristo wanapenda kukata tamaa. And he say the Christians love to give up. Anataka kitu na anakitaka now 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 now. When they want something they want it now and now. Lakini Biblia inasema. But the Bible says Mungu anahitaji kukaa na sisi mezani. God needs to sit with us at his table. Mungu analeta ahadi yake. God brings his promise. Na wewe unaleta tumaini. And then you bring hope. Unatia mezani. You put it at the table. Naanza kula. You start to eat together. Anakupa anakupa ahadi. He gives you his promise. Naona mwambia na mimi ninaamini. And you tell him that I believe. Ni tatumaini kwamba hii ahadi itatokea. And I will trust that this shall come to pass. Sasa now jambo la kufanya. What to do? Ni kumtukuza Mungu. It is to glorify God. Ni kumtukuza Mungu. It is to glorify God. Ni kumtukuza Mungu. It is to glorify God. Mpaka hilo jambo linatokea. Until that thing happens. Maana usipomtukuza Mungu hapo na hapo. Because if you don't glorify God then there. Utaanza kusema eh Mungu 
Mbona inachelewa? Then you start to say, "Oh God, how come it tears?" Mungu naitaji. Oh Mungu God, I need it. I need it. Unaanza kulalamika. You start to complain. Tangu siku ya leo. Now from today. Umjue kwamba definition ya now You should know that the definition of the word sasa There is nothing else except to glorify him. That is the key that opens all the blocked ways. Unahitaji kazi? You need job? Msifu Mungu. Praise God. Unahitaji mume? You need a husband? Msifu Mungu. Praise God. Unahitaji mtoto? You need a child? Msifu Mungu. Praise God. Unahitaji uponyaji? You need healing? Msifu Mungu. Praise God. Unahitaji promotion? You need promotion? Msifu Mungu. Praise God. Unahitaji kujenga? You need to build? Msifu Mungu. Praise God. Unahitaji mwanao aokoke? You need your child to be born again? Msifu Mungu. Praise God. Siku moja. One day siku sio itarajia the day that you least expect it utaona hilo jambo linakuja you shall see that thing comes to pass it is coming linakuja it will come linakuja it's coming maisha yako yatageuka ushuhuda and your life shall turn into a great testimony mshangilie bwana shout unto the lord hallelujah huni muda wa kupindua mawazo this is a time to turn around our thoughts ni muda wa kupindua fikra it is a time to turn around the way we think Hayo ndio Mungu anahitaji. These are the things that God requires of us. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Nakumbuka siku moja. I remember one day. Utaikuta katika Yohana 5. You'll find this in the book of John chapter 5. Pale kwenye kisima. There at the well. Cha Bethsaida. Of Bethsaida. Palikuwa pamelala wagonjwa wengi sana. There were many sick people lying around. Wakisubiri maji yatibuliwe waiting for the water to be troubled ili waweze kujirusha huko so kwenye maji so jump into the well na anayejirusha wa kwanza and he who jumps in there first anapata uponyaji he receives his healing unayakumbuka hayo you remember these words unayakumbuka hayo do you remember this biblia inasema the bible says palikuwa na mgonjwa mmoja there was a certain sick person nafikiria amekaa zaidi ya watu wote i think he's the one who stayed there longer than anybody else tell your neighbor do not slumber kumbuka yesu christ remember jesus christ aliyefufuliwa miongoni mwa watu was raised among the dead yule mgonjwa now that sick person kwa miaka 38 for 38 years alikuwa hawezi he was not able to do anything fanya lolote he couldn't do nothing nisikilize vizuri listen to me carefully miaka 38 asubira 38 years of waiting hawezi he couldn't do nothing siku moja one day siku asiyojua the day that he did not know The day that he did not expect. Yesu akaja. Jesus came. Kamsogelea. And he drew nigh unto him. Biblia inasema. The Bible says. Maana Yesu alijua kwamba amekaa hapo muda mrefu. Because Jesus knew that that man had been there for quite a long time. Na mahali umekaa muda mrefu. There is a place you have stayed for a long time. Yesu mwenyewe ndio anaweza. Jesus himself is the one who is able. Yeye mwenyewe atakusogelea. He is the only one who can draw nigh unto you. Akikusogelea. Once he does so. Usianze kuleta kumbukumbu za zamani. Don't start to bring the old memories. <laughs> Yesu akamuuliza. And Jesus asked him. Je, unataka kupona? Do you want to be healed? Kuna siku Yesu. There is a day Jesus. Atakusogelea. He will draw nigh unto you. Na hiyo shida ambayo unayo. And that problem that you have. Ataanza kukuuliza. He will start to ask you. Je, unataka ni Unataka kufanyikiwa na jambo hili? Do you want me to give you a solution to this problem? Ninakupa ushauri wa mzazi. I counsel you as a parent. Usianze kuleta kumbukumbu za juzi na za zamani. Don't start to bring old memories. Kama huyo baba, like the way this man. Aliulizwa je unataka kupona? He was asked do you want to be healed? Ye yeah, akajibuje. You know his answer? Sina mtu. He said I have no one. <laughs> Ye yeah, kumbukumbu yake tu anakumbuka kwamba hii miaka yote jamani ndugu zangu wameniacha sina mtu wa kunisaidia He was only remembering about my brothers and my relatives have left me all these years I have nobody to help me Even if vitu vya kusahau These are the things to be forgotten Mume wako anaweza kakuuliza Your husband can ask you Mke wangu je unanipenda My wife do you love me 
Au anakuambia nakupenda. Oh, oh, he tells you I love you. Badala kumwambia nakupenda. Instead of you telling him I love you. Ulivonikosea. You say you remember the day you wronged me. Nakupenda mke wangu. I love you my wife. Siwezi kusahau yale ulionifanyia. I can never forget the things you did for me. Hayo si kukumbuka dia kusahau. Those are not the things to be remembered. They are things to be forgotten. Jambo jipya limeshatokea. Sema ameni wewe uko nasema unakumbuka sitakani sahau. A new thing has already come. You just say amen. Instead of saying amen, you start to remind somebody of the past. Kumbuka. Remember. Yesu akamwambia, "Je, unataka kupona?" And Jesus asked him, "Do you want to be healed?" Sina mtu jamani. He say, "Jesus, you don't understand. I have nobody." Yaani mimi nimekaa hapa. I have been here. Watu hao walivowabaya. Uh, these people are so bad. Na mimi nikisogelea, mtu mwingine ananitangulia huko ndani. If I try to go ahead of them, somebody always go ahead of me. Acha story za zamani. Forget about old stories. Muujiza unakusogelea wewe ujui. Your miracle is just close to you and you don't even realize. Sina mtu. Say I have nobody. Hebu nikuulize. Let me ask you a question. Ule aliyekuwa amemsogelea sio mtu. The one who was drawing closer to him was in he a man or a human being? Anamojibu sina mtu. Huyu aliyekuwa anamwambia sio mtu. When he was saying I have nobody, the one who was talking to him was he not somebody? Unataka kupona sina mtu. Do you want to be healed? I have nobody. Yesu alikuwa sio mtu. Does it mean that Jesus was nobody? Kwa nini hata singesema unataka kupona? Basi naomba uninyanyue unisaidie na mimi unitumbukize huko ndani. Why wouldn't the sick person say that? Oh, if that is the case, why don't you lift me up and drop me into the waters? Sina mtu. Say so I have nobody. Lakini Yesu alikuwa ni mtu. But Jesus was somebody. Ambaye amemsogelea. Who has drawn closer to him? Na sio mtu tu ni Mungu. And not only somebody but he was God. Mara nyingi tunalia. Many a times we cry. Unasema sina mtu. You say I have no one. Mtu akikwambia sina mtu wa kunisaidia katika ili mwambie una Yesu. If somebody tells you I have nobody to help me in this tell him that you have Jesus. Shangilie Bwana. Shout unto the Lord. Ulimwangu unalia na kusema sina mtu akunisaidie. The world cries and say I have nobody to help me. Juzi kulikuwa kijana mmoja alikuja kunitengeneza nywele nyumbani. A few days ago somebody came to work on my hair at home. Kaniambia leo nimechoka I say. And this person told me today I'm so tired. Nina shida kubwa sana. I have a big problem. Yaani kwenye hiyo saluni that in my saloon boss wangu anataka kunifukuza. My boss wants to uh, suck me out. Ninahitaji laki sijue laki sita. I need about 600,000. Na mimi nina laki moja tu. And I only have 100,000. Sikopata hiyo hela. If I don't get the money, atanifukuza kwenye hiyo nyumba. He is going to take me out of the house. Kwa maneno mengine alikuwa anahitaji labda mimi nimpe hiyo hela. In other words, he wanted me to give him that money. Nikamwambia. And I told him, Unajua? Do you know? Kuna wakati Mungu anaweza akakufanyia muujiza usijue. There is a time God can do a miracle to you without you knowing. Useme sina jinsi ya kufanya. Don't say that I don't have any means to Bali una jambo la kufanya. But you have something to do. Unatakiwa kumuomba Mungu. You're supposed to pray unto God. Nakwambia Yesu nivushe kwa ili. And to tell Jesus take me through this. Kaambia che umeokoka. And I ask him are you born again? Akasema nimeokoka. I say yes I'm born again. Unawezaje kusema sina jambo la kufanya? And I say how can you say you have nothing to do? Unatakiwa kumwambia Yesu ishi yes. I'm supposed to tell Jesus your problem. Na kumwambia Yesu niokoe na hili. Tell Jesus save me from this. Wewe ume ume umebuni kwenye akili yako kwamba lazima mtu aku akukope hela. But you have already set it in your mind that it is a must that somebody should lend me some money. Hujui Yesu anaweza kutendea muujiza. Don't you know that Jesus can do a miracle to you? Nikamwambia ukimwomba Mungu. And I told him if you pray and to God. Na vitu viwili vinawezekana. There are two things that are possible. Zaidi ya huo mkopo. More than that that uh, Unaweza no. kuomba Mungu. You can pray and to God. Anakusa yule mwenye nyumba. God can touch the owner of the Na house. Unamwendea. And you can go to him. Unamwambia naomba nikulipe kwa mwezi mwezi. And tell him that please let me pay you uh, per month. Maana siku hizi ni ngumu. Because these are tough difficult Kama days. Kama umeomba. But if you would have prayed. Mungu anaweza kumgusa huyo mtu. God can touch the man. Na akakubali. And he can agree. Ukampa hiyo hela unayo. And you pay him the money you have. Na muujiza mwingine. And another miracle. Mungu anaweza akakupa kibali. God can give you a favor. Wateja wengi wakaja kwenye saluni yako. Many customers can come to your saloon. Na ukamlipa huyo mtu bila kuchukua mkopo. And you can pay the person without taking any loan. 
Unajua ile neno haikumuingia. You know that word did not enter him. Maana hiyo shida aliona hiyo shida zaidi ya hiyo neno. Because he was focusing on the problem more than the word. Kanitengeneza nywele, kanitengeneza nywele. And then he fixed my hair. Alivomaliza akaniambia. Once he was done and then he told me. Mama mchungaji unaweza ukanikopa hiyo hela. Mama pastor, can you lend me that money? Hiyo niliyomwambia hakuiona ni jibu. That which I told him he didn't take it as an answer. Lakini hiyo hiyo iliyokaa kwenye ufahamu aliona tu ndio njia pekee. But that which was in his mind that he saw that was the only way. Kama yule mtu aliyekuwa anauma miaka 38 hakuona njia nyingine ila mtu atakaye mnyanyua na kumtupa kwenye maji. Like that person who has been there for 38 years he could not see any other way except to get somebody who could drop him into the water. Ninataka kukwambia kwamba kuna baadhi ya mambo ambayo unamtarajia mtu. Tosha macho yako kwenye huo mtu, muangalie Mungu. I want to tell you that you have some things whereby you are focusing on men. Remove your eyes from men and focus on Jesus. Muangalie Mungu. Look unto God. Mungu atakusogelea. God will draw nigh unto you. Atakuletea jibu hata wakati ambao ukutarajia. He will bring you an answer to the time whereby you didn't expect. Yesu akamwambia, "Je, unataka kupona?" And Jesus told him, "Do you want to be healed?" Sina mtu. Say, "I have nobody." Inawezekana hauna mtu. It is possible you have no one. Lakini nina habari njema. But I've got good news for you. Una mtu zaidi ya watu wote duniani. You have somebody who's more than anyone else in the world. Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliyeye. Jesus Christ the son of the living God. Yeye jibu ya maisha yako. He's the answer to your life. Yeye ndiye anaweza kukuponya. He can heal you. Yeye ndiye anaweza kukubariki. He can bless you. Yeye ndiye anaweza kukufungua. He's the one who can set you free. Yeye ndiye anaweza kukupa promotion. He's the one who can promote you. Yeye ndiye anaweza kukupa uzima wa milele. He's the one who can give you eternal life. Yesu peke yake. Only Jesus. Mwana wa Mungu aliyeye. The son of the living God. Yesu akamwambia. And Jesus told him. Inuka. Rise up. Simama. Stand up. Shika kigodoro lako. Take up your mat. Na uondoke. And go. Unawezaje? kuelewa nguvu zilizo katika neno la Yesu lililotamka How can you be able to understand the power that is in the word of Jesus that was spoken There is power in a spoken word Kuna nguvu katika neno linalotamkwa Kuna nguvu There is power Eliomo katika neno la Mungu linalotamkwa That is in the word of God when it is spoken Hiyo ni jibu pekee ya maisha ya mtu. That is an enough answer to the life of a person. Imo nguvu. There is power. Imo uweza. There is might. Ambayo inaweza kusimamisha mtu aliyeumwa miaka 38. Which can cause a sick person who has been there for 30 years. Neno la Yesu Kristo. The word of Jesus Christ. Lina uwezo. Has power. Kwa kukunjua miguu. To stretch forth the legs. Yakiwete of a crippled person ina uwezo yes power ya kumuinua mtu ambaye to raise up a person amepoza who is crippled kwa miaka 38 years akainuka and he can raise up akashika kitanda and he can take up his mat akatembea and can walk sikia listen nisikilize vizuri listen to me carefully kuna vitu vimekwama ndani ya maisha yake there are things that are stuck in your life kuna vitu vimekwama there are things that are stuck Yaani vimekwama vimepoza. They are stuck, they are paralyzed. Unasubiri mtu. You are waiting for somebody. Yesu anakuuliza. Jesus is asking you. Je, unataka kufanyikiwa? Do you want to prosper? Katika hilo in this particular issue. Wewe unasema sina mtu. He say I have nobody. Ule anayekuuliza sio mtu. The one who's asking you isn't that he's somebody? Kuna mwingine kiwete. There's a crippled person. Matendo ya mitume tatu. The book of Acts chapter 3. Yeye alikuwa akiwete tangu kuzaliwa. He was crippled since his birth. Ameshajikatia njia yake ya kuwa omba omba. He had all already chosen his way to become a beggar. Ameshaamua hiyo ndio njia pekee yake. He decided in his life that that is the only way. Ya kuweza kuishi. To be able to survive. Kuna watu wengi wamejikatia njia. There are many people who have chosen their ways. Wengine wamechagua kuwa malaya ndio njia yake ya kupata. Some have chosen to be hallowed. That's the way to live. Wengine wamechagua kwa mke wa pili Some have chosen to be second wives. Ndio njia yake. That's the way. Nitalishaje watoto wangu? How am I going to feed my children? How am I going to take them to school? Nisipotembea namna na huyo mtu. If I don't do this. Nitapataje kuishi? How am I going to live? Umeshaamua, umeshaona kwamba hiyo ndio njia pekee. You have decided and you've come up to a conclusion this is the only way. Mwingine anasema siwezi kuacha kuuza pombe maana nikiacha sasa nitafanyeje? Somebody has said I cannot stop selling beer because if I stop what am I going to do? Nitaishije? How am I going to live? Magendo. You have 
You start uh, to uh, ashamed the name of Jesus. Stop loitering around people's offices. Stop going around people's places. Stop, that is a bad habit. There is only one person that is Jesus Christ. Wake up in the morning, kneel down and tell him all your problems and then start to glorify him. You will just hear somebody knocking at your home. You don't believe. believe it. it has been here for a long time. Somebody else has decided in order for me to be promoted, I must move with my boss. I have nobody. Say I have Jesus. I have Jesus. You have Jesus. I can do it. In Jesus. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians says, All you're saying, I can do some of the things in him who strengthens me. Others I will use my own understanding run to people's corridors. I say I can do half half things. Christians. I'm telling you the truth. And me and you. Let us pray that God will reveal for us to see the might that is in the name of Jesus. That we may know the treasure that is in Jesus Christ. We won't be crying. It doesn't go in. It doesn't go in. It goes in but partly. I pray in Jesus name that it may go in. That it may enter in in Jesus name. Petro akamwambia and Peter told him Wangali look unto us Pesa sina I have no money Zahabu sina I have no gold Lakini nilicho nacho but that which I have Katika jina la Yesu In the name of Jesus Simama na utembee Rise up and walk Ina maana gani What does it mean Jina la Yesu Kristo The name of Jesus Christ Is zaidi ya fedha It is more than money Is zaidi ya dhahabu It is more than gold Jina la Yesu Kristo The name of Jesus Christ Ina nguvu has power Ya kuleta uponyaji To bring healing Wakiwete to a crippled person Na kubadilisha maisha yake And to transform his life Tunatoka hapa We're living from here. We're hearing the word of God. Once we get just out of Mama there. Say, Mama pastor, I have a need. I need to see you. Do not have a problem with me or a need with me. Have a need with Jesus. Because you're not sure if I can Mama solve your problem. I need to see you. You know pastor. My problem is this. At home the situation is difficult. Not at home. Say in my head. The situation is bad. Say in my head the situation is worse. And somebody else said I say mama mchungaji jumapili niliona wazungu wamejaa kanisani I say mama pastor on Sunday I saw a lot of white men in the church Wewe kunitafutia telefoni yao yani nina shida fulani Can't you give me their telephone number I have a problem 
Shida ni hapo kwenye akili. The problem is here. Mwana ngozi nyeupe ndio itakusaidia. Once you see a white skin you think that's the what? That's Hii the solution. Hii ni utuma umekanda ni yetu utuma wa miaka. This is a slavery for years that is in our head. Yaani kuviringisha hayo mawazo itachukua muda sana. In order to take away these thoughts it takes a long time. Unaomba simu ya mzungu ili iweje. You are asking for a phone number of a white person. So what? He? Wazungu wameanza kuingia ingia hapo unaona kuna mafanikio. Oh, mafanikio so. sio ndani ya wazungu, <laughs> mafanikio ni ndani ya kuelewa Yesu. <laughs> so the white men have started to come into the church. I can see their success. Success is not in white men. Success is in Jesus Christ. Wengine tayari watanifuata ofisini mchungaji na shida wanafikiri nimeachiwa madola. Mimi sikuwaona hata wa wazungu, sijui waliko toka, sijui walioenda. Others will follow me at the office. Say pastor I even need thinking that the white men have left a lot of dollars with me. I even didn't see them. I don't know even where they've gone to. Unaanza anza kutafuta tafuta ma contact bure unapoteza muda. Piga magoti ita jina la Yesu. You're wasting your time to look for contacts. Kneel down, call upon the name of Jesus. Sina mtu. I have nobody. Sina mtu wa kunitoa kwenye hii shida jamani. I have no one to take me out of this problem. Mwingine akasema Somebody else said These people from UN they are so bad they don't help no one Tosha macho kwa watu wa UN tia macho kwa Yesu Remove your eyes from those people put your eyes into Jesus Mungu atawagusa hao watu watakubariki God will touch them and they will bless you Na wasipokubariki Mungu atafungua njia na njia nyingi sana If he, they don't bless you God will open he has many ways Wengine wanasema Others would say Hao Zion wanajidai UN inataka kufunga tutaona watakueje tutakueje Yesu afungwi These Zion people they, they, they think they are the ones who are so smart now the UN is closed down let's see what's going to happen Okay let's see what's happening Eti wanabaki kututegeshea UN atakavyofunga UN haijatuleta hapa tuletwe hapa na Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai UN did not bring us here it is Jesus Christ the son of the living God who brought us here Kumbuka Yesu. Remember Jesus. Yesu Kristo. Jesus Christ. Aliyefufuliwa. Who was resurrected. Mwana wa Daudi. The son of David. Nitamchezea Yesu wangu. I will dance for him. Nitamchezea. I will dance for him. Yuene iwepo, yuene siwepo, nitamchezea kwa. is there or is not there, I will still dance for the Lord. Ananivika, ananilisha. He clothes me, he feeds me. Utaniambia nini? What are you going to tell me? Yesu ananitosh. Jesus is enough for me. Anajidai anajidai acha nijidai nina Yesu Kristo. You're saying that she feels so good. Let me feel good because I have Jesus Christ. Ananitosh. He is enough for me. Nimekuwa kama Lea nimejua kumsifu Mungu. I have become like Leah because I've known how to praise God. And not to look unto men. Sio kuangalia mwanadamu. But to look unto God. Nikimwangalia Mungu. When I am looking unto God. Atageuza hao watu wote nitapata kibali machoni kwao. You transform all these people and I shall receive favor in before their eyes. Mtolee Mungu au simtolee Mungu, Yesu anatosha kwa kanisa lake. Whether you give unto the Lord or you don't give, Jesus is enough for his church. Sina fedha. I have no money. Sina dhahabu. I have no gold. Nilicho nacho. That which I Yesu have. Yesu Kristo. Is Jesus Katika Christ. Katika jina la Yesu simama. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise up. Sina fedha. Wala dhahabu. I have no money, no gold. Ila nilicho nacho nilicho nakupa. But that which I have is what I'm giving to you. Die Yesu. That is Jesus. I have no money. Neither gold. That which I have is what I'm giving to you. That is Jesus. Come to the office, let me pray for you and don't don't give me your problems. Nikikwambia hebu tuchange imani tuombe Mungu atafanya unaondoka shingo imebana namna hii eti nimesahau nimekataa kukusaidia. If I tell you, mwanadamu, if I tell you let's team up our faith and pray together, you leave while you're so frown and you say ah she refused to help me. I'm a human being. Hata 
hata kama ni president wa nchi jamani ataweza kusaidia watu wote kwa shida zao na kuzimaliza zote can he solve all his people's problems shida sio kikwete the problem is not kikwete shida sio obama the problem is not obama shida sio president yoyote the problem is not any other president hakuna president ambaye anaweza kumaliza shida za nchi nzima there is no any president who can finish the problem of the whole country Shida iko ndani ya kichwa chetu. The problem is here in our heads. Imezungu. It is entangled inside. Ukilala njaza, I say, government hii bwana hawafanyi kitu chochote. Yaani kikwe, yaani hawafanyi kitu chochote. When you sleep without food, you say, ah, you know this you start to blame the government. You know this government is not doing anything. Hata wakaichange na kesho wakaichange, bado shida itakuepo. Even if they change the government and tomorrow they change another one, the problem will still be there. Sina mtu. I have no one. Tubadilike. Let us be changed. Tubadilike. Let us change. Tubadilike. Let us change. Tujue uweza uliomo ndani ya jina la Yesu. Let us know the power that is in the name of Jesus. Tutafanikiwa. And we shall prosper. Tutafanikiwa. We shall prosper. Kanisa tukijua uweza wa Yesu. Church once we know the power of Jesus. Tutafanikiwa. We shall prosper. Tukijua uwezo uliomo ndani ya neno la Mungu. Once we know the power that is in the word of God. Tutafanikiwa. We shall prosper. Siku moja one day akumbuka Maria na Martha I remember Mary and Martha katika Yohana 11 in the book of John chapter 11 walikuwa wamepatwa na shida kubwa kweli they had a big problem na kakao amefariki Lazarus and, and their brother is dead Lazarus baadaye wakasikia Yesu amekuja and later on they had Jesus coming 31 hadi 33 Mary alikuwa analia and Mary was crying Ana mwambia Yesu and telling Jesus Mary was crying Ana mwambia Yesu and telling Jesus Jamani Yesu Oh Jesus Ungekuepo jamani Had it been that you were here Lazarus hangekufa My brother Lazarus wouldn't have Unge died Ungekuepo tu If only you were here Kakaangu hangefariki My brother wouldn't have died Inamaanisha nini What does it mean Mary Mary aliamini kabisa Yesu anaponya. He believed that Jesus can heal. Aliamini kabisa Yesu angekuepo, Lazarus hangekufa. He believed if Jesus would have been there, Lazarus wouldn't have been wouldn't have gone through that. Lakini imani yake, but he, her faith, haikuamini kwamba Yesu ana uwezo wa kufufua. Did not believe that Jesus has power to resurrect. Ungekuepo angekufa. If you would have been here, he wouldn't have gone through death. Sasa umekuja too late. Now you are here but it's too late he's dead now. <laughs> crying and crying and crying. Anaendelea kulia. She keeps crying. Yesu amesimama mbele yake. Jesus standing in front Yesu of her. Yesu ufufu na uzima. Jesus is that resurrection and life. Jibu limemjia. The answers have come to Lakini her. Yikutu, yi, 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 but she kept crying. Ndivyo tulivyo wa Kristo wengi. That's how we are most of us Christians. Tunaamini Yesu anaweza kufanya baadhi ya vitu. We believe that Jesus can only do some things. Lakini kuna vitu vingine tunaona kwamba hawezi tena too late. But there are things we feel that he cannot do it anymore it's too late. Mary alikuwa analia. Mary was crying. Ungekuwa hangekufa. If you would have been here. Sasa too late umekuja kufanya nini? Now umechelewa. What have you come to do here? Yesu He's dead. Anamangalia. And Jesus is looking unto her. Yaani Yesu alikuwa na shida kubwa sana. I think Jesus had a big problem. Yaani ili amuaminishe kwamba sasa unalia nini mimi nimekuja nitamfufua. Ni ngumu sana. And the problem was to be able to make Mary understand that why are you crying? I am here. I am going to resurrect her. Him. Hata wewe unaisikia kama historia. Even you you hear this as history. Hebu funga macho yako kwa. Close your eyes. Funga macho yako kidogo tu. Just close your eyes for a second. Close your eyes just for a few seconds. Funga macho yako. Just close your eyes for a few seconds. Unajua kutini vigumu wakati na msema funga macho ndio mwingine ananiangalia kabisa. You know obedience is tough when I'm saying close your eyes somebody is busy looking unto me. Ili aone nini natokea. So that they may be able to see what is happening. Hebu jaribu kufunga macho yako. Just close your eyes. Ili utafakari vizuri. So that you may meditate. Hebu itazame hiyo shida ambayo umeona ni kubwa sana. Now, Look unto that problem that you think it is so huge. Na alafu utafakari ili neno linasema kumbuka Yesu Kristo aliyefufuliwa miongoni mwa wafu mwana wa Daudi. And then meditate upon this scripture that says remember Jesus Christ who was raised among the dead the seed of David. 
na usiwe kama Maria alikuwa analia na Yesu amesimama mbele yake wala Maria hakujua Yesu anaweza kufufua and don't become like Mary who was crying whereas Jesus was just standing right in front of her without realizing that Jesus had power to resurrect ni kitu gani umeona kwamba yani hakiwezi hata iweje hakiwezi what is it that you feel that even it doesn't matter whatever happen it is going to be impossible Hebu sasa sauti ya ndani ikwambie kwamba nina Yesu. Now allow that inner voice to tell you that I have Jesus. Nitamsifu. I shall praise him. Na mambo yangu yote yatafanyika. And all my issues shall be successful. Sema huko ndani. Speak in your heart, speak in the inside. Ukimaanisha. And you should mean it. Badilisha mtazamo. Change your perspective. Sikimbilie kwa watu. Don't run unto people unto men. Mwanadamu ni wewe ni kama wewe na wewe ni mwanadamu. The human beings are just like the way you are. Kuna vile anaweza, kuna vile hawezi. There are the things there are things that he can do and there are things that he Lakini cannot Yesu do. Yesu anaweza yote. But Jesus Christ is able to do it all. Usilie. Do not cry. Iko simba wa kabila ya Yuda. There is a lion of the tribe of Judah. Mzaliwa wa Daudi the seed of david anaweza kufungua he can open mihuri ya maisha yetu the seals of our lives muamini ye believe in him mkumbuke ye remember him usiku na mchana day and night utafanyikiwa and you shall prosper usimnungunukie mtu yeyote do not complain to anyone usione kama watu ni wabaya don't feel like people are so evil Usione kama hawawezi kukusaidia. Don't feel like they cannot help you. Biblia inasema laanie mtu ambaye anamtegemea mwanadamu. The Bible say cursed is the man that trusts in man. Hiyo ni somo ambao Mungu anatufundisha siku zote. This is a lesson that God is teaching us every day. Tegemee Yesu. Trust in Jesus. Ana njia nyingi sana. He has many ways za kufanikisha maisha yako. To cause your life to prosper. Neno lake his word ndio fungua maisha yetu is the key of our life ndani yake is blood kuna kila kitu has every need it, it has everything he is the alpha and omega 